My friends requested that I do a few more one pan dishes on the show because they don't like doing the washing up. So I have the perfect one for them and all of you out there. This is my baked blue eye with roasted potatoes and tomatoes. And you only need a few key ingredients. So get yourself some nice white fish. This is blue eye. I like blue eye because it roasts very nicely in the oven. This is around 160 grams. And I've asked my fishmonger Manny from Planet Seafood to keep the skin on and take the bones out. So it's so, so fresh and ready to roast. So one onion and I'll grab a knife and we just want to slice the onion quite thinly. There's two parts to cooking this. First, we need to cook our onions and potatoes and then we're going to add the tomato and our fish. The fish takes no time at all to cook. So I always like to give my onions and potatoes a head start because there's nothing worse than an undercooked potato. So onions done. With the potatoes, I want to cut them so they're about one centimetre thick, not too thin, so about that thick. That's what we're after. These are Desiree potatoes that I've just peeled. Ideally, you want a waxy potato because they'll hold their shape when they roast in the oven. So two pretty large potatoes here. So this is going to feed four people. And the second one. Done. Now this can go into a baking dish and you can mix the potatoes with the onions. I'll add one clove of garlic, so I'll just bruise the garlic and roughly chop it. Sprinkle that in. And I'll add some stock, but I want to flavour my stock. This is just some fish stock. You could also use chicken stock. This is some saffron, so a small pinch of saffron goes in. And I have warmed up my stock, and by warming it up, you'll see that it infuses quite quickly. And it changes to that wonderful yellow colour. You just need a small amount of saffron to make a difference, just a small pinch. We're going to pour this over our onions and potato. Season it generously with some salt, some freshly cracked pepper and a few knobs of butter. Excellent. Just grab a spoon and combine that so the salt can get underneath there. Spread those potatoes out so they're not overlapping too much and we can get them in the oven. Now these are going to take about 15 to 20 minutes in the oven until they're tender at about 200 degrees, so a hot oven for this one. These potatoes are cooked. The best way to test that they're cooked is just to grab a small knife and just pierce it through the centre of the potatoes. If there's no resistance, you know they are cooked. And now we can drizzle over some crushed tomatoes. These ones I love because they're Australian grown. So I'm going to do a bit of a pro heart motion here just by drizzling it over, scattering that over our potatoes. Look at the colours. Very Spanish inspired dish. So make it look messy. The messier, I think, the tastier when it comes to a dish like this. All right, I need to season the tomatoes. So just a small pinch of salt. And we need to season and oil our fish too. So I'll grab some extra virgin olive oil. We'll drizzle that over. Gorgeous fresh fish. Salt, pepper. and I'll just coat all sides of the fish with our seasoning and oil. Beautiful. And we're going to arrange them in our dish. I'm going to put them all the right way. It is a one pan dish that goes straight on the table from the oven, so make it look fantastic now. Love this. All right, last little knobs of butter. So there's just a small amount now. We're just going to pop that onto the skin. And now this goes back into the oven. A hot oven and it really only needs about five to eight minutes or until the fish is just cooked. The fish 
is just cooked. The skin's nice and crispy, so we can serve this up. And I always like to finish it off with a pop of colour and some freshness. So just a little squeeze of lemons going to go on some fresh herbs. Fish and dill, they love each other. Parsley does too. So we'll add a few leaves of both of them and that lemon goes straight over it. So always dressing any type of leaf that you're going to garnish a dish with. A little pinch of salt, just a small one, and a splash of oil. It also looks better on the plate too because they become quite glossy in that dressing. See, look at that. And we'll pop them over the top, spread them out. That is a beautiful dish. Take it to the table as is and dinner is served.